Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sanfonix channel. Today, we're building the high grade Gundam Origin, the Zaku Haimori T test type. So, actually, um, if you watch the Zero Eight MS, uh, the Team Zero Eight MS series, it does appear in it. So, it was fighting the uh, ball type K, is it? I don't really remember. So, so it appears in the anime before. Like before the or before the origin series animated, but anyways, that's not really important. You just have to remember that you saw this like a long, 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 long time ago. And then now, here we are, the building is so premium Bandai don't have anything at the side, so we can just skip that part and then get straight to the you know uh, unboxing part. So we got uh, we got five packages, and this time the instruction book looks a bit wait. How come how come this one does get color, you know, get some colors on it? Because if you remember, if you watched my Jim Sniper review before, when we unboxed it, it was black and white. And this time they give us the colors. Wow, that's surprising. And we can see that is about 25 markers. And let's look at the back here. So what part we are not using? So most of the part is included, okay? Most of the part is included. And then, you know, quickly flick through the instruction manual. It's not really anything special. All right, so now I take some, you know, I take a little bit of time to open up all the runners. So, you know, let's take a quick look of it. So this is the B1 and B2 runner. Let me move away this first. So this is the B1 and the B2 runner. We got hands, arms, and the feet, and I believe this is part of the waist. And then we got some shoulders uh, unit as well. This is the H1 runner, and where's the H2 one? Oh, sorry, we don't have H2. Oh, that's the H2. So we got H1 runner. This is basic, This is obviously the legs and then the feet unit, and we got the backpack unit as well. And this is on the, on the knees as well, and we got the mono eye here. And then the X2 unit, we got the shoulder piece, and then we got the head piece as well. This is the D1 runner, as we can see, uh, feet, the hands option, the inner joint of the legs and arms, and I believe the thrusters. And then we got a backpack and then a heat hawk. And then this is the E2 runner. This is the legs, and then I believe this is the... This part is the arms, and rest of it is the feet. I mean, legs. And this is the A2 runner. This is the outside of the legs. D2 runner, pretty much the same like D1 runner. It's just a feet and then some inner joint of the arms and the legs. That's the I runner, machine gun. This is a C1 runner, the pipe on the head and the waist. This is the A1 <coughs> runner, and this is the legs. The waist part, the backpack joint, and then some part of the torso as well. And we got one piece of sticker. And then we got the marking, marking sticker here. Potty caps. And that's pretty much it. So let's jump straight into building and I will see you guys back again at the review.
Hey guys, welcome back to a review of the uh, Zaku High Mobility test type and this is in finishing office so if you don't know about the MSY it looks so strange about the scale like I mean the legs are pretty large and then the the upper body is just uh, like the scale doesn't feel right if you ever have this feeling let me uh, explain a little bit of background to you so this suit was a test type and it combined the combination between Zaku and Dom so which is why the upper body is Zaku and then the lower body is basically Dom Yes. Okay. Uh, introduction finish. If you want to know the full intro, uh, if you want to know the full details of the mobile suit, you can hit my description and then check it out because I will type all the information down there as always. And now, okay, get back to the review. So, I think this is a pretty solid kit, and I pretty much, I pretty much don't have any complaint about it. The only thing that you need to repaint on this gunplay, I think, is the thrusters, the inner, the, the, the like the the thruster the inside the thruster the only thing that you need to repaint it that's that's there that's it nothing and overall i really think that the uh it's a very solid finish so i would like to say though this is a pretty fun kit to play with although it is premium bandai so it might be very hard for you guys to reach it so let's get started so the head is able to move 360 and it is a ball joint down there and it can move move slightly up and down if i take off the head oh you can see there's there is a there's a little gimmick here you can actually turn that around and you can adjust the mono eye to the, the position that you want as you can see now it's looking to the left and i can just adjust it by twisting it around and then you know that's pretty much how it works and also the bottom part here is pretty not sticking together so yeah, you might want to glue it, and that's pretty much how the mono eye works. See, you can do that on the Saku, but can't do it on the DJ. How shameful are you, Bandai? So let's look at the torso. So the torso is a pretty special part. So first, the both of the torso can slightly pull it out, as you can see here. Uh, there's a little joint on the back of the torso, and you can pull it out slightly as well. And then now, next up, you can if you turn it to the back, and the backpack here is the whole pipe is connected to the backpack but it's a little bit hard to snap it together because the joint is pretty blurry the feeling is very blurry it's not very it's not a clear joint and some when i put it in i just put it in by guessing it and that's pretty much how it looks like when it finished now let's talk about the arms so the arms just going back to this uh saku type design so as you can see one side is a normal arm and then on the other side we got a this kind of spiky thing but without a spike <laughs> i don't really know what's that called um but this time instead of a normal saku this saku don't have a shield at the other side and this time the saku don't have any spikes on the shoulder so this part of the shoulder you this part of the shoulder is possible to pull it out as you can see it is it is uh capable to pull it out and then we also can move the hand to the front we can we can also move the arms to the front and easily 360 twisting and then bend up easily as well and then as you can see it can move for another horizontal move movement as well and it can lift up 90 both of them it can lift up 90 and i think that is a pretty good uh, articulation is a pretty it's a it's a pretty standard this day but you still have to appreciate it because you know there's no interruption between it and for the hands option though um we do have an open hand for the left arm and then we have a trigger hand for the right arm and that's pretty much the hands option that you got the waist part is a little bit uh interesting so first if i lift this up so you can see the side skirt is uh liftable and then at the front skirt here it is a pretty stable front skirt so it is a pretty solid front skirt lift up and lift down and i think that's pretty good the back skirt as usual is not movable so the legs is capable of kicking to the side uh, 90 degrees and kicking to the front if i move this piece up it can kick to the front 90 degrees as well and then kick to the back slightly as well and there's an extra joint down at the waist here as you can see so you can move the overall leg to reposition it but if you after you reposition it, it will look pretty weird. So I suggest you don't. So I just put it back like this. Now that's great. And then now the whole leg is able to bend 
a little bit more than 150 and as you can see here it is a pretty large piece of armor but the articulation staying uh stayed extremely well so that's pretty good and then for the feet here we can move side to side 45 degrees and we also have a joint here where you can bend the knees left to right so you can do some um standing pose at more accurately so i pretty much like that and the red part down here on the feet is a sticker so yeah that's pretty much the sticker that we use it's at the mono eye and the feet and that's pretty much it only uh, the only accessories on this kit is a machine gun and a heat hog and the heat hog you can store it at the side of the of the side skirt uh, and like the connector using the connector and store it on the side skirt and that's pretty much look like this and other than that this kit don't have any accessory at all all right guys this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this video i know this review is a bit short but uh there's not really much things to talk about on this gamla it is a pretty standard kit and i really need to say though this uh, origins kit is a pretty fun kit to play with and the articulation is extremely well and you can do some crazy poses with the extra joint on the feet and as you can see now you like posing the posing the gamba like look like it's walking is pretty easy because the legs joint the legs joint this time is a is a adjustable joint and unlike uh, some of the xg they just give you a sort of ball joint and nothing else and this time you can actually truly twist around the uh the feet and then you can do the poses better and i really think this is a very fun gun to play unfortunately it is a p-band knife so it is very hard to get your hands on it and i really need to say though it doesn't seem like they use the uh they, they reuse it doesn't seem like they reuse the mode it is a pretty i think this is the complete new mode for the for this gun play, so yeah, if you ask me, is it worth to buy? Yes, I think it is, but it is a P Bandai, so you might very hard to get your hands on it. So if you have a good price and if you want to enjoy the articulation of the Gampa, I suggest you the Origin Sakus. All of them is extremely good. So get one yourself and have fun with it. And this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like down on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more contents. And as usual, I will see you guys in another review. Goodbye.